I have been driving events now for almost 20 years. And for all the events outside of FD, I pretty much pack my own rig and trailer or car. And I still drive my car to events sometimes. Sometimes I take the enclosed trailer, kind of whatever makes sense. We have the dog with us sometimes, so we take the shuttle bus with the AC and all that. But no matter what, it all stays the same. My rule for bringing parts is if it can't be fixed, in 90 minutes, you shouldn't bring it. Because for me, if it takes more than 90 minutes to fix it and I'm not competing in a competition or anything crazy, I'm like, I'd rather just put it on the trailer and bring it home. If not, if I didn't bring the trailer, I can leave it there or do something. Cause I don't want to be on my back for three hours, four hours, swapping some crazy part that is gonna basically ruin the rest of my day and make me hate drifting. Pack it up and leave if you can't fix it in 90 minutes. So this is my crash box setup. This is what I bring to pretty much every event and we're gonna kinda go through that. Show you guys what I got. So I'm obviously as simple as possible. I know this is a lot of stuff and probably everyone doesn't even bring a jack to the track, but if you wanna be prepared and at least have a chance to get through the day and enjoy it, this is kind of what I bring. Spare pair of wheels and fresh tires on the car. The trick here is you run these down to where you're comfortable to drive home on them, and then you put the other ones on and leave those to drive home on. That way you always have some tires, even if they're almost, almost gone, that you can drive home on. And you can run that other set all the way to the end, but you can't drift on those anymore. Your day is over. Or you need to bring another pair. Um, I always suggest to buy new tires because then you have to bring less wheels and tires to the track because new tires last much longer. Tow boards, they're only like 65 bucks for the set. They'll do wonders of you setting your car up and being able to make sure your car is dialed before, beginning, and after going to the track. So obviously I keep a pair of those with me. They don't take up hardly any space. You can shove them under the seat and you can make sure your car is straight every time something happens, especially replace a tie rod, replace a control arm, any of that stuff, you're gonna need these to reset it. Fuel, I always bring a five gallon jug and fill my car all the way on the way to the track. So these are really like a little over five and a half. And basically I know that when it's time to put that in there, I know I have five, eight, 10 more laps, kind of figure it out. And then I know I need to either go to the store and get more fuel, send this with somebody else to get more fuel, or next time bring another fuel jug so I have two. Having to leave the track, get fuel and do all that, unless you plan it around a lunch kind of sucks because you lose an hour of track time just to get fuel. I always bring water for me, for my car, for any, everything. So just I just go to the store and pick up a case of water beforehand. I drink a ton of water all the time. And sometimes my cars use water too. So always have water. Obviously a jack, you gotta have that. I do have a jack stand in the crash box that we'll look at. And I have this box that you'll see looks like a disaster, but it's really just so that everything goes in the car in one confined area. And it's not just gonna fly around all over the place. Tools, impacts, big wrench. This guy will do 99% of what you need to do right here. And then obviously I have this toolbox here from Gear Wrench that is actually the sickest toolbox. I've had this thing for like three years now. Ratchet wrenches up top and then inside we got all the sockets you'd ever need. Allen's, ratchets, all sorts of stuff. We got screwdriver, e-bit, everything there. All it's really missing is like a set of pliers and a big adjustable wrench, which I have in the crash box like we talked about. For electrical stuff, I normally just bring one size of medium wire, because if it needs to be bigger than this, you can just use two pieces to get you through the rest of the day and double it up. And if it doesn't need to be this big, you're happy to have some wire and tie stuff together with it, you know? So I keep one reel on me. Obviously, it's only black. You'd want multiple colors, but for me, I know I'm fixing it and putting a note in my phone about it. So basically I just bring one color because it's going to be fast fixes anyway. A light, because you're definitely going to get stuck at night if your car breaks down or you're driving an event that goes into the night. Using your cell phone for light sucks. Headlamp is definitely the ticket. I bring this because my car has a bunch of DT connectors in it and no one's going to have that at the track. So this is something you probably don't need but I wire most of my stuff up with these so that I never really have to have any problems with wiring. But when they do, or I need to wire something in, I can patch stuff in really easily with it. Again, you can just have a couple other connectors like these right here. Just grab a little kit like this, stuff it full of other electrical connectors, fuses, and whatever. So you have just a tiny box in case you're in trouble. This box obviously is a disaster right now. It's been through like 40 events. 
And this is like my Fox body box. Um, so everything in here is like spares for that car in particular. And it just stays in the passenger seat of the car. So when I am ready to go to the track and go drive, I grab it and I know that most of what I'll need to get through the day is gonna be in here. Also, I forgot to touch on the last part. Obviously you wanna bring a helmet, bring a bag for it, cause you never know where you're gonna to have to shove it and it's gonna get destroyed. That's a fresh helmet that BC just finished for me. So I'm obviously super pumped about that. You see the bag underneath it or a fancy bag, just so you can be able to shove it and throw it places and know it's not gonna get destroyed. Cause obviously if you're driving your car to the track and everything, it could get really crazy in there and roll around and all that. Okay, so in my crash box, we've got coolant. We've got some tools, obviously. I've got a jump box. And this is not only for the car, because I always leave my battery on in my car overnight or whatever to start. It's also to charge your phone, do anything power related that you need to, your truck dies and you need to jump, any of that is in there. So it's a good uh, source of batteries in there. We've got our jack stand. We've got lug nuts, spare lug nuts, and you only really could just get five of these and put a zip tie through them and toss them in here. I just had a box of them, so I have different spacers and stuff. Um, a little more electrical stuff so we can diagnose zip ties. You need at least 20 zip ties in every single crash box you ever own. There's probably a bunch of these in your door cards, in your center console, behind the seat, in the trunk. If you're drifting, you know that you have these kind of sitting everywhere because they're like the biggest problem solvers in the world. I also realized unpacking this, I'll be able to organize it when I put it back in, so that's kind of nice. Brake pads, my car loves to eat rear brake pads, so I just keep a spare pair of brake pads in there, especially because like sometimes I'm going places for like multiple trips, multiple days, multiple everything. So like things that are consumables, you definitely want. Like if I go to the track and I, break something. I want to be able to have the spare of that. And if I don't have the spare, I make sure it goes into this box next time. Obviously, if it's within the 90 minute rule. I oddly have headlights in here, and it's mainly because I've been crashing into people a lot, and I've been trying to keep headlights on the car because it looks silly without headlights. I had this spare pair of uh, roll bar tubing, and it was because I don't know where I'm gonna go and drive, that they're gonna have some weird tech requirement. So like I toss this in there just because I don't have padding on like my front bar and a couple other little things because it's so far away from my head because I sit so low and the cage is so tucked. My seat would have to break out of my car for me to be able to get to it. But I tossed it in there just in case I went to an event because you're never going to find this at the track. Oil, always bring spare oil. This is 2550 pens oil. Brake fluid, you always want to make sure you have spare brake fluid. A lot of this stuff is things you already know but you know, it's kind of reiterating. Brake clean, especially if you go to a track that's super nuts about their pit area. You always want to make sure you have something to clean up with. Microfibers and quick detailer because you're going to go off track at some point. And even if you don't clean it while you're at the track because you know you're going to go off again and wreck, it's nice to have it to be able to clean things before you drive home. Or if you wreck something or do whatever, you can actually like clean it up and make it look decent. Plus you never know when there's going to be like some YouTube nerd that wants to talk about your car and it's all filthy and dirty, which is also cool, but you might want to clean it. I have slip-on and bolt-on wheel spacers in the box because depending on wheels and depending on track layouts, I'll do this for setup and for looks to keep the car looking good. Duct tape, always. I don't even use this that much. It's always more like to get home after I've blown like body panels off that are a pain in the butt to like remove or if like some interior flat piece like I had a car the radio kept falling out of it over and over again so like what because it wasn't latched in so just put a piece of tape over it but again this kind of goes along with the zip ties it doesn't really take up much space and you should have it power steering pump I carry this with me because these are really hard to get and parts stores don't stock them. So even though this is probably close to the 60, 90 minute swap, being able to drift the rest of the day because you have one is obviously key. Tie rods. If you go to the track and you don't have tie rods in your box or in your glove box or wherever, whether you're using these style or like standard style tie rods, I run these now. I just had this in my crash box from a previous time. You absolutely need to have spare tie rods and you can have just one, but I, I typically carry two. You know, things get crazy, you know, you never know. I had a time where I lost some coil packs in an event, so I keep spare coil packs in there because I couldn't get them at AutoZone or the dealership um, locally. So 
It's one of those things where I didn't want to lose the rest of my weekend, so I keep a spare pair in there. More spare tie rod pieces, heim joints for the lower control arms. Um, these haven't had any problems failing, but again, they're in such a small box and they take up such little space that it's good that I kind of keep them in there just in case. Spare Jubo. Oh, what do we got leaking down here? Oh no! The lifesaver. It blew a hole in it. JB Weld, dude. You always gotta have JB Weld, but now I gotta buy a new JB Weld because I done blown a hole in mine. I've used this to seal radiators. I've used this to seal oil coolers. I had an oil line fail and like it was a fitting into the block and it cracked the housing and I was able to sand it down and put some of this on there and it works great. I know they have a story on the back that fixed an engine block or whatever, but this stuff is like really, really good for the big stuff that you don't want to carry around if you just need to fix it to get home. But now I need to buy a new one. More spare Heim joints, more zip ties. I told you, dude, look, I grab a thing of zip ties every time I go to the track and I throw them in here. <laughs> we got zip ties for days. My particular car, I keep a spare fuel pump in there. This is uh, the DI pump. I haven't had one fail since we've got the tune correctly, but in the beginning I ate up a couple of them, so I keep that in the bag. Some more tools, V-band stuff, a spare relay in case I need to trigger some things. Um, again, like it's just all the stuff that you can fix quickly. Spare control arms in the bottom. Look, it's what I was saying, you only need five lug nuts. I had five in a bag right there, ready to go. But again, like my car hasn't really been breaking much, so it's all in here and kind of there. But so yeah, that's basically it. Enough spares to keep your car going throughout the day. It all fits in this one box that can go in the trunk, in the back seat, or wherever. So you can drive to the track. One spare pair of tires or more, depending on how much power you are. I bring a spare axle, mine are same left to right, because that's an easy fix, and that's something that can break all the time. But the moral of the story is basically, if you've broken it before, you need to have a spare. Even if you upgrade it, you should potentially buy a spare for that if it's something that breaks all the time. And just being prepared enough so that you don't feel disappointed and you have to go home throughout the day. This is what goes in my crash box, what I bring to the track, whether, like I said, I'm taking the big rig or some of this simple stuff, that's pretty much it, so later.